So, Rai, today you played a game of ham. Yes. Yeah, and right now we're eating, not game of ham, but we're eating game of chicken. We're eating canes, right? Yep. So good. Fried chicken. So you played with a bunch of friends who play a lot of Euro games, right? Uh, they play like Uno and yeah, different games like that, but... So they all play like, they play like Secret Hitler 2 yes. and things like that, right? And um, you said that you got the game uh, set up and played some of it, right? Uh, yes, yes, we played quite a bit. Um, it was very fun. The, the color cards, we weren't sure exactly how they worked at the start, but we figured it out. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, it, it wasn't that hard. So, it, it so, was, so what's the premise of the game? What do you have to do? Well, there's a judge um, who pull, uh, draws a gray card, and then it has a question such as like, oh, you know, what do hipsters like? Um, and things like that, and mm -hmm. different prompts. Or, you know, what's a characteristic of an elephant or something like that. And then you would have 10 pink cards, and you play a pink card to coincide with that. Uh, kind of like a fill in the blank cards against humanity type thing and then you would try then the judge would pick you know which one he thought was the funniest or which one worked the best with the card uh, with the gray card that was the funniest that was the uh, that was uh, it was kind of the judge's choice if you wanted like, okay. what fit the best or what was the funniest or the darkest you know that's what they chose right and so are you hang so tell me about the mechanics of the game. You get a um, hand of cards? Yes, you get 10 pink cards. Right. Uh, and then every time you play a pink card, you draw a pink card. Okay. So you're constantly replenishing. And then the red cards you can, uh, which you get if you win a round and you move on to a red square, is how we uh, figured out it works. Um, then you can replenish your whole deck or swap your whole deck. Okay. And there's like yellow cards where you get to make some people not play. There's green mm. cards where you make the judge pick. Like once the judge has picked the pink card they like the best. Right. You can overrule that and make him choose from which one the did, next two. Which way does this go up? This way or this way or this uh, way? That one goes, turn it around that way. Yeah. Uh, like this. Right. Right. All right. Yeah. Like that. There you go. And so how and do I, there's how do I board. It's a, there's four of those boards. Okay. How do I use that? So you have little ham, like little pictures, little uh, miniatures that mm -hmm. kind of move along. And every time you win one, every time you win a gray card, which like the judge takes your pink card, then you move. So yeah, those little ones, you move with those, that's you. Okay. Every time you move on to a certain color one, then you get that type of special card from the white cards. And then every time you land on a number, there's like two or a zero or three, mm -hmm. then you get to move that many spaces. Okay. And in your opinion, is this just like the Cards Against Humanity? Yeah, it's, it's Cards Against Humanity, but I don't know, it seems a little bit different, but it also has a little bit of a different level to it, to where you can kind of win more by using the cards that you uh, drew from moving spaces. What are these extra decks, do you know? Oh, those are just, we didn't have, we only had like four or five people left. Ah, okay. So okay. we didn't need to use all of them. Okay, cool. And um, how many did you play? Uh, six. Six oh. months playing. Okay. Would you say that, oh, let me just swallow. Hmm. So I'm gonna pause for a sec and finish my mouthful of food. All right, so let's let's uh, we can reconvene now that we've eaten a little bit of food. Um, you played with six people total. I had one umpire. Uh, well, six people, and then every round there's one judge, so there's uh -huh. five pink cards. That okay, play. okay. And you said you found it a little bit difficult to identify where the specific rules were for the color coding? Yes, for the color coding of the little circles on there, like the green and the yellow and the red. Okay. But what we what we assumed it meant is that there's cards that coincide with those, so we just said, hey, if you move onto one of those, you just get to draw one of those cards. Right. And um, would you say 
overall that you played with five girls, right? Yeah. And what, how old were they? They were all 18. 18, okay. 18, 19 years of age. Yeah. And do you think that, and you, you said to me earlier on when we were off camera, you said that it was as fun or more fun or the same level of fun as yeah, Cards Against Humanity, Humanity yeah. but it's more involved or it's yes, funnier? And it's, or? I don't know, I feel like in Cards Against Humanity, it's just kind of like whatever, you don't really care if you win. You know, you're just kind of going through cards. But right. in this, you know, you get to see yourself moving ahead of people. And there's an end goal. You're trying to get to the orange square. Okay. And then, or you're trying to like spell something out. You're trying to get ham from like the cards that you win. So right. there's actually like an incentive to win. And so you're trying to find good cards to win. And so a lot of the things will be just very funny and, you know, vulgar slash, you know, kind of dark. Right. It is. Right. Really right. Because you the combinations of the yellow oh, yeah. cards or the red cards or whatever. And, and you get to some of the gray cards, which I don't know mm -hmm. if they do this in Cards Against Humanity, but it, it says, it has a sentence and there's a blank. And it's like, you get to choose what you want. The judge gets to choose what the thing is that mm. you're answering. And that's that we had a couple of fun instances of that, you know, where you choose someone in the room, right? Oh, this girl, you know, what does this girl, uh, what's the secret about this girl? And then you just, you know, play a funny card there and it's great. Interesting. Did anyone ever get embarrassed when they were playing? No. Or upset or <laughs> no. anything like that? But there, there were some, you know, kind of, you know, a little bit funnier moments, like what was, uh, there was something about Michael Jackson, you know, what was his, what would he not enjoy? Oh no no! What did he enjoy doing? And then someone played like dying on a overdosing on a toilet or something. And then oh, right. someone played like blackface. And you know, there's right. just a bunch of ones that are very funny whenever you play them with other cards. Right. <clears throat> and you said that you felt like if you got exactly the right combination of cards, you could guarantee. Yes. So locking out some people from winning okay, yeah. and then just make it a competition between one or two people? So with the red, yellow, green, and orange cards, what I found is that you got to guarantee yourself a win if you're playing with six people. I'm not sure if you're allowed to play two cards in one turn, but we didn't we didn't know. We, we had to look through the rules. On a Super detailed, amount, right, right. Yeah, you know, we just wanted to play. But I'm pretty sure that you might be able to do this, but I, I played a make three people not play that turn and then I play they make the judge choose the other card mm. and so no matter what the judge did he had to choose my card right interesting so overall if you were going to sit down and play one of the games that you and your gang usually play Secret Hitler or Cards Against Humanity or you know all the other different things you play would this be one you would say, hey guys, let's try this new game? Or oh yeah, one? definitely. I'm, I'm actually going to take this uh, out to one of my friend's ranches um, Saturday and probably play some more. Cool. Um, and I'll also bring Secret Hitler because we've always been a huge fan of it. Well, Secret Hitler is a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So. And so, you know, everyone who's watching will have to excuse the fact that we said out to the ranch because we live in Texas and... Uh, People have ranches and <clears throat> farms, and they're, they're two different things. All right, well, that's cool. Well, thanks for. I'm really glad. And so, normally on my channel, I would. This is not a game that I would play, and that's why I wanted to get you and your friends who play a lot of yeah. different Euro games and Ameritrash games to give this uh, guy a run for your money. And how long did it take to play? Well, so we played. Uh, it doesn't. Okay, so. We didn't finish the game because the board, we, we chose the biggest board that you could play with, which okay. was all four tiles. Okay. And so we played, I want to say probably 70 or 80 hands of like people being judges. Oh, so wow. It was, we played a lot. We probably played for a good hour or uh -huh. maybe uh, a little bit less than that. Which is a long time for a dumbass teenager. Oh, sorry. Oh, 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 that was funny. Oh, oh. Yeah. And so, I don't know, if you play the smaller board, you can definitely get it done very quickly. Right. But we were just like, hey, let's just see how long this takes with the big board. Oh, okay, that's cool. All right, so you had a lot of fun. Yeah. Played, played some period of time. You probably play. Small, a, yeah. You probably play a full game in an hour or less. Yeah, with a smaller board, yeah. All right, but right. With the big board, it's probably like 
two hours. Honestly. Okay, but otherwise you would probably play like thirty minutes. Would you say if you yeah. play small board? I say with like, the less the small plays. boards are a lot. Like it, it's see, so we had one of those boards plus there's other boards and right. the ones with, are the, with the white squares is where you start. Right. Yeah, like that one. Yeah. Right. So if you start with that one. Then you could probably get the game done very quickly. Oh, I see. So each of these are individually yeah, shaped so we, we and uh, formatted. Ah, uh, I see. Very cool. All right. Well, look, dude. I really appreciate you taking the time to play that for me, literally. And uh, uh, hopefully, the uh, game will be successful. Right. Absolutely, no problem, Kevin. You know, anytime. <laughs>